Hey, Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minute. Thanks for tuning in. This is a quick MD Minute, fascinating, I think, uh, coming out of JAMA Network Open by researchers at the University of Southern California, and it's looking into the question of artificial sweeteners. So remember, that's things like Splenda, which people put in their coffee because they are wanting to have sweetness, but they don't want the calories because they have no caloric value in an artificial sweetener. So what they did in this study is they took 74 uh, young people, average age 23, 60% almost were women, and they asked them to do a couple of things. Turn up, they had stable weight for three months, and turn up fasting, and then when you got to the center, um, they did a couple of things. They gave you one of three drinks, either 300 mils, which is approximately a can of, Water by itself, that's the placebo or the control group. They gave you 300 mils of liquid which was sweetened with Splenda, which is the artificial sweetener. And then they gave you 300 mils of liquid that was sweetened with sugar, which is sucrose, that's plain old sugar. Same amount of taste in terms of sweetness of number two and number three. And then they looked at a couple of things. Number one, they checked your blood tests over the next couple of hours. They were looking at appetite hormones. They were looking at insulin levels. They were looking at blood sugar levels, but really cool. They also did functional MRI of the brain to see what areas of the brain lit up when you looked at certain foods, like food cues. They gave you cards or pictures of things and what areas of the brain lit up. So the results are fascinating. The obvious result is that if you had water and sugar, plain sugar, then obviously your insulin went up and your sugar went up, that was to be expected. And if you had an artificial sweetener, that didn't happen because that does not cause insulin and sugar to go up. But what's really elegant and interesting about this study was the functional MRI data. And what it seemed to suggest is that if you had the splendor, the artificial sweetener, that would increase activity in areas of your brain, the areas of the brain that, is doing, that are associated with food cravings would be specifically more activated if you were taking a splendor rather than plain old sugar water. And this was especially true in females and in people who were obese. So my take on this is that artificial sweeteners are not a good idea. Now there are some natural herbs that are very sweet. Monk fruit is very sweet, almost 200 times the sweetness of sugar. That's something to investigate. Stevia, that's a plant. That is also something to investigate, but the artificial sweetness, especially Splenda, they're gonna muck around with your food cravings and you're not gonna lose weight, you're probably gonna put on weight instead. Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minute, thanks for tuning in.